I think one of the fondest memories I had was when I joined Skip and we had an instructor. Her name is Lady Bird Castillo and she's from the Philippines. And she used to fly out and teach Skip, she would train us. Tammy Torres Julie joined Skip when she was in 11th grade. And when she graduated from Academy of Our Lady of Guam in 1989, she remained in Skip until she left for college. And she said Lady Bird was a big highlight for her. You look back in life, especially when you're in your 50s, like I am now, and um, Skip really offered me a lot. Dooley, who's a dancer for the WNBA's High Rollers in Las Vegas, said she had aspirations and big dreams of being a dancer, and Skip brought her closer to those goals. She recalls a time she, Dominic Sangil, and Michael Lameca were selected to perform on Star Search. We were the first group from Guam to go to Star Search and represent Guam, and that was a major turning point in my life. For Donica Benaventi, she joined Skip when she was 10 years old, and she remained there until her early 20s. Benaventi says being a mom of three, she reflects on her time in Skip. Having moved through um, travel tournaments with kids, I think back and the way we navigate those with kids now and having like, I mean, just from everything being set up to like, I mean, I'll have my kids like uniforms done, what, all these things. And I think back and I think how we were so independent and how we would, and I'm not, it's not a comparison and it's not a thing that's like, oh, we did this and they didn't. What I'm saying is that I think back and we had really dependent on each other and we developed such unbelievably close relationships. It was just like very grassroots. She says some of her favorite memories weren't necessarily dancing, but rather the time with one another. Things like being completely bored in the hotel room or walking around like aimlessly at the mall, but not necessarily having money to shop there or like, you know, like making Ichiban in the rooms with like little percolator, like those little like percolator things in a cup and just like late nights with Mrs. Knapp talking and how um, really it's the relationships that we build. But she says dance and skip allowed for a deep connection with herself and to energy. Because of what I do now, I realize that being able to like tap in and access that literally set me up. It actually set me up to know that I didn't want a desk job. It set me up to know that I wanted to move, that I wanted to like um, express that I wanted to like, you know, tapping into those emotions and dance is exactly the same way I can tap into somebody's emotions now when I work with them. And so dance gave me the gift of like true awareness. And here, 40 years later, Skip continues to thrive. It's a testimony to the strength, the love, um, the ethics, the, uh, the dance community and, you know, especially worldwide. I mean, since social media has taken over, you know, look at uh, what Brian Esperon and all of the uh, more recent younger dancers have attained, you know, and it's nice to see the legacy live on. And it's, it's a monster in itself, you know, Skip is a beast. Forever grateful for the experience and all that came with being a part of Skip. It's a blessing to the community because kids are still able to um, join and be a part of the, the Skip legacy and to continue dancing and living their aspirations and dreams and travel. Um, and like we said, you know, Skip offered a bunch of us the opportunity to travel. I know for myself, it took me everywhere. I, I've traveled the world because of Skip. So even after I left Skip, I was still traveling as a dancer. And, you know, I'll be 53 this September um, and I'm still dancing. So, you know, I'm a living testimony to um, what uh, Mrs. Knapp and Skip have given birth to. I think for all of us who have had the privilege to dance with Skip and be a part of the Skip family, I think we would be family forever. And if you're an aspiring artist looking for something to try and you're looking to expand your horizons, I think that you should give Skip a chance, you know, and you'll be really surprised at how it will draw out uh, the beast in you. Happy 40th anniversary, Skip.